Hello and welcome to Social Work 2362 at Texas Tech University. My name is Robert Wood. I'm your instructor in this class. This is just a little video to try to help you guys kind of find your way around in the class. I know there's a lot of variance in how people will construct online classes. So I thought I could try to make a video to try to help you out with that in this class. If you start off here on the home page, this is your welcome and introduction module. Just some basic information in this folder, the welcome statement from me, the video itself is located in there. So obviously you've already found that. My contact information is on there as well. Please feel free to contact me whenever you need to. I do not have physical office hours at Texas Tech. However, I can schedule time to meet with you there if you want to physically meet uh, to discuss the class or something like that. Um, Email is probably the best way to get in touch with me. I check my email every day and I can return emails same day. Setting up your Cengage MindTap account. For this class, you were required to purchase the Cengage subscription. If uh, Hopefully you've got some other classes that are also requiring Cengage textbooks and all of your textbooks for the semester could be covered with that one uh, subscription fee. All right. uh, discussion etiquette, uh, be nice to each other read that over and then the syllabus for the class go ahead and I will pull that up so that you can see it um, read over the syllabus okay just to understand the course objectives and measures what the purpose of the class itself is um, you'll notice in this class we have three different textbooks I had to use three different textbooks in order to try to cover all of these objectives. There's a wide variety of what they wanted us to cover in this class. So that was why the three textbooks were needed. The course structure, and how that's laid out. Participation. Participation is required. If you regularly are missing assignments, you can be referred to the dean as for not participating in the class. And once you miss enough of them, you will be removed from the class for lack of participation. Hopefully that will not be an issue for anyone here, but sometimes it is. The course is divided into 13 module, more or less it's one a week, all right? You can work ahead. You are not allowed to work behind though. Once those modules close, they will be closed, all right? Um, your final grades will be determined by how many points you earn versus how many points are available in the, in the class. Here on the syllabus you'll see in module one, we're working on social welfare and social justice. There's some readings that I've loaded onto Blackboard for you and the Baruch text chapter one. Um, you'll do the mind tap in Baruch chapter one. That's worth 50 of the points. The journal is worth 40. And then the online quiz, which is pretty simple, is worth 10. Then you'll see the mind taps are worth 50 points apiece. Discussions are 40. Most chapters will have either a journal or a discussion, or they will have multiple chapters of mind tap work. All right. Some of the mind tap work is automatically graded. Some of it I have to go in and grade. academic integrity make sure your work is your own if you are using even an idea from someone else you need to cite that particular person some contact information for the library and IT services being civil COVID-19 statement that is straight from the university itself and that's pretty much the syllabus as far as how to get around in the course you can go to the learning modules. If you once you open up learning module one, you'll see there's the content and instructions. Here was the reading that I wanted you to do in a video. There's a couple of links in here. Also, the mon, uh, I told you you needed to read Baruch chapter two and do those assignments. The direct links for those are in that particular file, and then the module one journal. Blackboard sometimes does not like that back button. Um, and then the journal, you'll read the prompt, enter the journal like this, and then create your journal entry. A uh, journal entry, you should be at least a page, okay? Especially if you want to be eligible for full credit, you should make sure that most of your things are a page. 
Let's jump to a different module. Module four, you'll notice this one has one reading assignment, and then it's also got the discussion. On a discussion, read the prompt. And I want you to enter it like this, create a thread. The prompt is up there again in case you forget what you were being asked. For the subject, I not want you to make this your name. So Hannah Bridges or whatever your name might be. The reason I want that is I want to see, I will read these in a, in a particular order, but if somebody is, if a student is responding to you, I need to know who they're responding to, okay? So it's a, a more organic way for me to grade them and understand what's going on in the discussion. And then down here, you're gonna type out your discussion. Six to eight well-formed sentences is a minimum, and those are ones that are introducing academic content into the discussion. I like your post or I agree with what you said is really not academic in nature. Okay, so those are, that would not be a, a well-formed argument. Your research project at the end of the semester is detailed in this particular document. It's gonna be a PowerPoint presentation you can choose to film yourself giving the PowerPoint. You can make your audio on top of the PowerPoint. There's a number of different ways to do this. If you just submit the PowerPoint with your own notes, that is not going to get you an A on that particular assignment. You just won't. It's, you're going to need more effort than that. You're going to need to actually give the presentation in some format. Okay, but there are, I've loaded some examples on here that are really good that you can kind of see. I've changed it a little bit and opened up the uh, project to where you can work on any piece of legislation that you want to, whether it passed, whether it didn't, whether it's just proposed, doesn't, does not matter. Your, a list of due dates are on here, okay, sir, so as far as each module, when they open and when they close. Um, You'll notice that any module that has a discussion post, the initial post, what your response to the prompt is, that is due 48 hours before the discussion closes in order to <coughs> try to give others a chance to respond. Okay. Here's direct links to the, if you know that, hey, it's weak for, for Jansen chapter 10, if you know that's what you need to do and you don't want to go through the learning modules, you can go into, <clears throat> into textbooks and there you can direct link into the Jansen text. I wouldn't really advise it unless you are absolutely certain that's what you know you want to do. If you have any questions, please get in touch with me. You can call me. Um, my Personal phone is 806-853-0660. You can call and leave a message. I'll call you back on that line. Um, you can email me. I want you to do well. Please do stay in contact with me, though. That's one of the uh, downsides of distance learning is students sometimes will just disappear and they will miss too much material in order, and so they make it impossible for them to pass the class. I look forward to hearing from you and for... I look forward to reading your work this semester.